question, my friends. Is it me? Or is his shadow out of control? I'm accused of being a 1980s <laughs> I was in this hall in, the in 1984, standing alongside the miners. It was so lovely, there was a voice over there went, no, that was the sign language. <laughs> He's an, <laughs> He's an intriguing figure, Jeremy Corbyn. Massively popular with young people. I wonder why. Is it because of his policies on Trident or tuition fees? Well, not according to Sky News. The reason why young people are flocking to him because, you know, he doesn't wear a suit and he's got a beard. <laughs> Sky, how patronising is that? Like young people at home going, I vote Jeremy because he's got beard, beard, and he smells like jumpers. <laughs> the papers were even worse. They tried to attack Corbyn with the most surreal smear campaign ever. Look at this. Jeremy Corbyn likes nights in eating cold baked beans with his cat called Harold. <laughs> the son made it sound like he's got a roadwork fetish. He's obsessed with manhole covers. <laughs> and the Telegraph printed a photo of him looking like an ejaculating ostrich. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know what that looks like. Poor, <laughs> poor Jeremy was so upset by the media intrusion. At one point, he turned into a turkey. How parties were elected is a matter for the public in the end. Do you know what happened the last on, 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I feel a bit sorry for Corbyn. Instead of listening to what he's saying, the media are obsessed with his clothes. He does sometimes wear socks and sandals. Is it true someone lent you that tie? Some people are saying he was dressed a bit like Mr Bean on stage today. He's scruffy, he doesn't wear a tie. Come on. Cameron appeared on the Travelodge advert with his tits out. This place has... <laughs> <laughs> and if it isn't his clothes, it's his relationship with the Queen. His refusal to sing the national anthem at a Battle of Britain memorial service upset even some within his own shadow cabinet. Does anyone really care that he doesn't sing the national anthem? It's a really silly song. God save the Queen. We're asking an imaginary man to protect a rich old lady. <laughs> to asking Harry Potter to look after Deborah Meaden. <laughs> I think he should sing an anthem about things that matter to him. Wouldn't that be great? God save our NHS. It really is the best. Don't let it fail. Do, 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 do. We do not need a queen or <laughs> nuclear submarines. I just want to eat baked beans <laughs> with my sweet cat. Whatever you think about Corbyn, one thing's for sure, he's clearly got the Tories rattled. I mean, did you see Cameron at the conferences? He lost it. My friends, we cannot let that man inflict his security-threatening, terrorist-sympathising, Britain-hating ideology on this country we love. Whoa! <laughs> Steady travel lodge tits. <laughs> Mind you, Corbyn's shadow wasn't that fast. We cannot let that man inflict his security threatening, terrorist sympathising, Britain hating ideology on this country we love. <laughs>